Hi everyone, welcome to today's tips about our K8 evaluation kit. I'm Chloe, a support engineer from CommonNav Technology. Today I'm going to introduce you what this K8 kit is used for and how to use it. And it's been called evaluation kit and it's mainly been used for users to evaluate the performance of the K8 series OEM modules. The K8 series are our new generation GNSS OEM modules and it supports GPS, GLONASS, Adol, the Global, QZSS, Galileo, and uh, Sports Tracking. And it can provide users with the uh, high precision, positioning, heading, velocity, and timing information. And uh, the accuracy can reach to centimeter level. And besides the GNSS part, it also has a built-in IMU module, which is for some signal-limited environments. So you can easily use it in your varieties of GNSS-related applications, such as the serving and mapping, the vehicle navigation, the UAVs, and the monitoring, and so on. So. Before all these applications, an important step for you is to evaluate. Is to evaluate whether this K8 module can meet your requirements. And the evaluation kit is designed to simplify this step. You can easily configure the uh, K8 module in RTK work mode or the static work mode via Bluetooth or PC. Then check the data status. Firstly, let me show you about its packing list and hardware design. Besides the K823 evaluation kit, it also has a Type-C USB cable and a charger and a serial cable for data transmission. And we also have GNSS antennas as options, um, just like the AT34 variable. You can choose the options depending on your requirements. And let's take a look at the K823 kit. And this is the K823 GNSS module. And here are two SMA connectors. This one is for the master antenna for positioning. And this one is the slave antenna for heading. And here, this Type-C port is used as power supply or data transmission. This serial port is connected to the COM1 port of the K823 module. And if you are interested in deeper integrations, these 16 pins are designed for you, which includes the PPS output, event input, and other I.O. interfaces, and the details about the pin definition. Please refer to the user guide. And inside the kit, there are three indicators. The power indicators will be on when connected to the power supply, and the RTK indicators will be on when the module receives the correction data. And the sunlight indicators will flash every five seconds. The number of the flashes depends on the number of the tracking satellites. And here, are three DIP switches which shows the connection status of the K823 serial ports to the onboard integrated interface. And the switch one is the Bluetooth module to the K823 COM3 port. And the switch two is the USB port to the K823 COM2 port. And the switch three is this serial port to the K823 COM1 port. And after the hardware introduction, let me show you two configuration example for the Bluetooth and the PC. First, for the Bluetooth, you need to download the ServiMaster software on your cell phone first. And it's a free field serving software from our company. And you can directly download it from the Google Play Store. First, let's connect the GNSS antenna to the kit. And if you don't need to test the heading performance, you don't have to 
connect to the Genesis 2. Then connect to the power supply. You can see the power indicator is on now. Open Surfing Master. Click Device, Connection. Select Common Nav Device and search for the kit. And the K8 Bluetooth is the target device. After connection, it will automatically device enter the OEM module mode. You can easily check the sky view and signal quality and the satellite's tracking list here. In home page, we can see the device information and coordinates. As for the rover mode configuration, you can easily configure the PDA course mode to input the RTK correction data to the K8 kit. Please. Okay, and then check the fixed status here. And beside the configuration of work mode, you can also set the GNSS data type you need in this interface. You can choose the NMEA messages output or directly send the command to configure the output messages. And then Nothing. click save to record the data for analyze. The Bluetooth is for some simple tests, and if you want to do some more professional and long-term tests, I suggest you to use the PC configuration. And if you use the PC configuration, you need to install a serial port configuration tool on your PC first. And here I use the CRU tool, which is from our company, a free software. For the hardware connection besides the antennas, you can directly connect the USB cable to your PC for both power supply and data transmission, or you can use the serial cable to transmit the data. Open the serial port configuration tool, connect to the serial port. You can send a message to see if it's connected. And you can see all the system configuration information by sending commands log config. It's much clearer to check on PC than Bluetooth. As for the RTK work mode configuration, you can click here to input the correction data from course network. And you can check the real-time correction data flow and the bottom right of the window. And now the data is in and we got the fixed solution. As for other work modes, you can refer to our K8 series user menu here. And for example, the GNSS static mode, just copy the command on the menu. And change the target COM port or other settings you need. And then click this button to record the data for analyze. And the configuration of other work modes is similar. You can also refer to the guide. Like the DP filter function or the sparse tracking and so on. You can explore by yourself with this menu 
And if you have any problems, you can directly contact our support team. So that's all about the configuration of the K8 evaluation kit and hope this video could help you. And if you want to know more about the usage of the K8 evaluation kit or our other products, you can leave your comments, subscribe our YouTube channel and follow our social media, Common Technology. And uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.